Bottom line is, the bottom line is, you can't cancel the Batman 2 after the success of the Penguin. Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. My name is James, thanks for stopping by. If you are a fan of the Batman, hit that subscribe button. We talk about it all the time on this channel. Coming up, I'm gonna have the villain or villains that I believe are gonna be the best options for the Batman part two. That's coming up in a few days. Can't wait for that one because I'm looking forward to this movie. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How badly are you looking forward to the Batman part two? Did you like part one? And thank you guys so much. We just hit 4,000 subscribers. It means a lot to us here. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get to this now. Robert Pattinson was rumored or supposedly met with Marvel Studios earlier this week to discuss a potential role. Possibly some insiders are saying this is status quo. This is what happens with actors and studios. They meet to discuss with no particular roles in mind. They just meet to kind of get a feel of one another. Other people are having their minds blown and they're going, ah, going crazy. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Thinking that Robert Pattinson has ditched the Batman part two for the MCU, and some people are also speculating that maybe the Batman Part 2 will be canceled, that it is gone. x nade no more Batman Part 2. Where's the script? We don't know. Where's the proof that there is a second one? Aside from the fact that we had all the lead up to the Penguin series and during the Penguin series, all the talk of what is to come in the Batman Part 2 and Colin Farrell saying, I signed on for three movies. Now, sure, that might not mean anything very, very true. But there is a script and he knows that he's in five or six scenes and he plays a big part at the beginning of the movie. We know all of this. So what is the obsession with hoping that the Batman Part 2 is not happening? Is it all clickbait? According to James Gunn, it is 100% clickbait and that makes the most sense. I'll get into that in just a few seconds. But first I just want to say the idea of canceling the Batman Part 2 is mind-boggling. Because the first movie grossed $771 million dollars 771 million dollars coming right out of the pandemic when movies weren't doing very well people wanted to go back they wanted to see batman not only that though this is batman after ben affleck and after christian bale and then of course george clooney val kilmer michael keaton adam like we've had a lot of batmans in live action leading up to this so the idea of a new batman might not have resonated so hard with fans even if you look at the box office of like spider-man homecoming it didn't blow the the gates off of the box office there either. It was a it was a substantial hit, but not like crazy, crazy numbers because we have already we had already gotten multiple Spider-Man and people are like, okay, I like Spider-Man, but you know how many times you're gonna change this? And of course you grow and you gradually love Tom Holland Spider-Man, and then they bring the OGs back and everyone's like, gotta go to the theater to see it. So $771 million. Here's the thing: the movies that come in front of it are insane. 2022 was a psychotic year. In movies, here are the top 10. Let's check them out. First, we got Avatar 2, The Way of the Water. Now, look, I'm not an Avatar fan, but my goodness, it, like this franchise is just unbelievable. It can't lose. Next, you have Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun Maverick, okay, arguably came out of nowhere, but it is a spectacular film. Arguably, the perfect legacy sequel you could come up with is Top Gun Maverick. They just nailed it on every level. Jurassic World Dominion in 3. The Jurassic Park series can't lose either. This is the third one. Again, you, just like Spider-Man, you bring the OGs back. Guaranteed box office. And that's what Jurassic Park Dominion or Jurassic, Jurassic World Dominion did. Doctor Strange 3. Mul the multiverse promises right there lead you into going to see that in the movie. After that, you've got a Minions movie. you got Minions, The Rise of Gru. Everyone loves Minions. Those movies make bank all the time. And then right above the Batman, you've got uh, Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever, right? which has, you know, built-in audience like, okay, let's see what they're going to do. And there's an interest right there. So, like, number seven in that year is not really that bad when you think about it. And the, and the movie, of course, got high praise from critics. And I believe the Ryan's Tomato score is probably very well as well. I'm not going to go into those numbers. That's not the point. The point is, for some reason, there's this weird obsession with it not happening. I know it's been a long time. The, obviously, the, the, the actor strikes and the writing strikes obviously pushed a little bit back. You know, they had the Penguin, though, which was a good stepping stone to get us to the next movie. But we're not going to get that for two years because they don't have a script. And again, this is all the snowball effect of the strikes and of Matt Reeves taking his damn time. But it all stemmed, obviously, the Robert Pattinson stuff, but the rest of it stemmed from this random tweet here. Reeves versus, this is uh, from, I don't know, intro leaks or something. Uh, Reeves versus just a myth, dude. Uh, so crying laughter emoji. Pattinson moving on to different projects. Gunn keeps saying Reeves still writing the script. Question is, 
Is there a script for real? Another emoji. Not a single actor from the movie hasn't heard from Reeves or anyone. Uh, and then Asper, As, As, Asberg, As, As, James Gunn, is this true? And James Gunn replies, like, why would you even believe a rando on social networking? Of course not. If it was canceled, it would be canceled. Who has time for charades? I've been one of Matt's biggest cheerleaders for years since Cloverfield and the Apes movies. We are eagerly awaiting the script. And now sometimes you can say, well, James Gunn lies all the time. James Gunn's a liar. Okay, sure. Maybe he has. Maybe he's, you know, not been completely honest all the time. But he's also working on the dynamic duo with Matt Reeves, something I'm really excited and anxious to see what they're going to do with. And I think they have a really good working relationship. The fact that, he, that Matt Reeves stayed within James Gunn and obviously is going to take notes from James Gunn, and maybe that's the delay on the script, right? Maybe Matt Reeves has submitted a script like he said he did in September, and James Gunn says, you know what? This could be better or whatever, whatever. And Matt, Reeves, and Matt Reeves has respect and says, you know what? You might have a point there, unlike Todd Phillips. And we all know what happened with the Joker for Leo De, and they don't want to go down that road again. So I think, look, I think the Batman 2 is coming. I think it's going to make its October release date. I've said this before. I think you've just got to chill. We heard that they might start shooting in the summer of 2025. There are rumors of who the villains are going to be. Casting will slowly start to trickle out once that script is in, which is going to come out, I would imagine, early next year, by the end of this year. For sure, the script will be... Well, finalized and complete but again if you're not shooting for another six seven eight months and the script isn't complete but you have an idea and you can start getting your sets and your locations ready based on what you have and it's just little maybe dialogue scenes or or things like that like, like little stuff then you can go ahead and start planning and not worrying so much about the script and i don't think they are i think james gunn has full faith in matt reeves and i think matt reeves is a hell of a filmmaker and i have full faith in Matt Reeves, I mean, and you can't, here's the thing, the bottom line is, the bottom line is, you can't cancel the Batman 2 after the success of the Penguin. That would be the dumbest thing on the planet, is you just have a hit show, and you're like, that's it, this is all, we're done, we're, we're done. First of all, no studio would ever allow that to happen, ever. Secondly, creatively, they have to have an idea or want to tell a story about what happens after those events. And if those events went, go right into the Batman Part 2, that would be the story that they would want to tell. So it just, it just doesn't jive. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever that the Batman 2 would be canceled. It just seems to be the trolls want to troll and they want to stir up controversy and get the clicks and the clickbait. And I guess I fell for it because here I am making this video. But I hope you guys like it. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments down below. Do you believe in James Gunn? Do you believe in Matt Reeves? And do you believe in the Batman Part 2? Also, if you haven't checked out Holy Christmas Batman from my friend Brian Royer, link in the description below. It is a jolly good time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and subscribe. Until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.